So my question is, uh, in terms of asking somebody why they might be wanting to sell, um, but somebody who's not super eager to sell, I mean, how would you ask that question? I'd go if the other. Was... Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I was going to say, um, like somebody who's who needs to sell maybe in pre foreclosure, but you want to ask them why they would sell if they had to, like, if you had to sell, why would you sell? I guess that's a decent question. No. Well, here's the problem. If you ask somebody, why do you have to sell? Why, you know, um, they may not want to tell you, maybe they got a financial difficulties. Maybe they got a change in the family. Maybe it's a divorce. Maybe it's an illness. Maybe they don't want to share. Do you like to share personal information with a total stranger? Most people don't. Most people don't. So why do you think this person will do it? You haven't earned the right, the trust yet. So what you want to use is something completely unexpected. Gee, sir, how many years have you been? Mr. Wosick, how long have you been in, that, uh, in that, uh, that lovely house with the white picket fence? I've been there about 17 years now. 17 years? Uh, you have kids, right? Yeah, I got it. Got two and then one on the way. Yeah. Yeah. You know what we did in our house, uh, our first house. And I really, we marked the walls as the kids got taller and everything like that. And I wish I cut out that piece of the wall. A lot of good memory. Yeah, that must be breaking your, you don't really want to sell this house, right? <laughs> no, I, I wish, I wish I'd, I wouldn't have to. I kind of don't really have any other choice though. I don't, I'm not sure if I understand. Help me. Maybe I can help you, but what do you mean you don't have another choice? What do you, help me out here. Well, I either got to sell the house or file bankruptcy. I really don't have any other choice at this point. Uh, you know, that happens to a lot of people. It's a tough economy. Do you mind if I ask you, can we go on to Zoom, sir? I'm going to send you my link. And and um, I, I'm, I, I really like to help people solve problems like this. I might have a couple of solutions or ideas for you. I might even make you an offer. Can we do that? You know, I, I don't really use Zoom or anything like that. Could you maybe meet me in person and talk about it? Uh, you know, the Zoom is just like in person. You don't have an iPhone, do you? No, I don't. I got one of these droids and it dies all the time. I'm going to change the battery. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's just stay on the phone then. And I'm going to ask you a few questions. You ask me a few. And uh, I'll, f I'll figure out a solution or I'll make you an offer. Is that fair? Yeah, I guess that works. <laughs> oh, you don't have to do it. It's okay. But I might be able to get you. Maybe there's a way to get out of this property. And, and that suffered the devastation of the bankruptcy and the foreclosure. Okay. All right. Sure. Go ahead. If, only, only if you want to, sir. I don't want to shove anything down your throat. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking maybe the bankruptcy might be a better route anyway. Okay. And if I give you that information, would you go in the back of Costco and pick me up one of those four ninety nine chickens? <laughs> yeah, sure. And I, you know, I only have one fault in my life, sir. This is, I'm going to share something very personal with you guys. I think I'm one of the few people who likes Costco pizza. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I know. Steve, I saw Steve Driscoll. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Very good. Well, have fun in Costco. Go. The, uh, the point is go in the, go in an unexpected way to get the information and to not sound like the other phone calls that he's received. Okay. You've got to be kind of like a therapist and he, and he's on the couch yeah. Are you going to give a, a, a presentation about, you know, your wonderful company and, and, and the history of real estate? No, no, definitely not. exactly. Okay. We're going to, I hope that helped you. Uh, thanks for muting.